folks, thanks for coming in. I was telling my cabinet uh, before you all came in that uh, when I was a kid in grade school and high school and college, one of my closest friends was a guy named Pete McLaughlin. And if you're a real basketball fan, he was the sixth man on the rear of the Walker team in Providence College back in the, back in the late 60s. And anyway, and um, he used to have an expression when someone would say something that was kind of said, look, you got to know how to know. You got to know how to know. Unfortunately, he passed away some time ago. But, you know, you could go in the Library of Congress, and if you don't know how to read the card catalog, it doesn't do you much good. It's all about the luck. And since I got involved in public office and got elected, um, I've really, not a joke, I tried starting my home office in my home state, like, to get to a point where people could get their, we, we assume, bureaucracies assume that people understand how they function. But it's really a very complicated web for the vast majority of people, whether they have PhDs or high school education. And so today I'm signing an executive order to ensure, to ensure that uh, the federal government puts you, the American people, at the front of the line and for first and everything we do. I'm directing 17 agencies here to focus on more than 30 key areas to make it easier to apply for services and benefits that they're entitled to, they paid for, it's theirs, their government. And let me give you a few examples. For millions of people who retire each year, you should be able to apply for Social Security benefits without needing to go to a Social Security office and have Medicare proactively reach out to you with the tools you need to manage your health and save money. Or if you're one of the tens of millions of people who move each year, you should be able to take and update your address one time in one place and check off which agencies that new information uh, should go to instead of going to each one separately to let them know. And if you see, you'll see better technology to speed uh, the security lines and, and wait times at our net and national airports, make filing and refunds with the IRS more, more rapid, and for disaster aid, which I was talking a little bit earlier today about, uh, and to student loans, uh, the list goes on. The bottom line is we're going to make the government work more effectively with the American citizens so it's not as confusing and as straightforward. And we're going to, as I believe, this will go a long way to restoring faith in government. I know it sounds like a simple thing, but I think it's pretty consequential. And so I'm about to sign that now. And I'd ask all the cabinet members to come around behind me. Getting there. <laughs> I used to wonder how Barack did this all in one. Thank you. 